So you brought a guitar. Yeah. Tell us about your interest in music. Well, I've been playing guitar. Music was first for me, really, you know, from the time I was 12. Uh, you, you can't act alone in your room. I guess you can. <laughs> Many I guess have you can, tried. but there's no one to act with. And just, <laughs> acting is reacting for me. But music is, you know, is a thing that your friend uh, as a kid, and it, that, that was, I was kind of like music acting, music acting. I, I, I didn't know. And uh, it became acting. But music has always been laced in there, and I've always had a band. And uh, I knew I was never going to shred a guitar, but I, uh, so I took up songwriting to go with that. How hard is that? Songwriting? I, it's, it's not a question of being hard. I think if you ask any songwriter, it's, it's like an affliction. It's something that you either have or you don't. And you get an idea that's a song or whatever, and you, it just, it's going to bother you until you finish it. Do, do you have so some you, working their way out of you right now? Yeah, at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Can you play one? It has nothing to do with EMPs. <laughs> no, good. I need a respite I would from say that. That I, was I, dark, I would, man. I would play a song. I tell you what, I'll play you a song that I think probably applies to you, Tucker. All right. As well. I wrote this because of uh, Chris Christofferson, who's... Who, uh, he and Kenya Tucker and Randy Carlock did a song of mine that's going to be out. Did, did you know Chris Christopherson? Oh, yeah. He's a great guy. Fantastic. But his wife said that nobody calls Chris because they think he's such a legend. They, well, yeah. They wouldn't take the call, you know? So, But does he want people to call? He wants people to call. So now in my act, when I get up to playing this song, I call his wife, Lisa, and... And we, leave, we all leave a message where the entire audience says, hello, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. But I, I found that myself, dude, it's about me as well. But Because when you get to after a certain age, after 60, people start giving you undue respect for, <laughs> for, for things. You know, I look forward to that. By calling you, <laughs> yeah, by calling you legend, right? Legend. So I wrote this song for that. Please don't call me legend My humble life's not through It's got a beginning, a middle But there still ain't no end To what I might yet do I might just climb all the Himalayas Plant a flag on a planet or two <laughs> But if you call me legend again Please wait until I'm in my tomb Oh, and please don't treat me special It makes me feel alone How can I be the simple person I've always been If you put me up on some throne I'm quite capable of making my own mistakes And I'm not afraid of failure So if you call me legend again I might just have to see you later one more verse. <laughs> Please don't call me legend. It makes me feel like I already died. That's just a what a third hand story about some has been and it's probably a lie. So I'll just keep on keeping on trucking year after year. And if you call me legend again. I might just have to box your ears, you know I will. I might just have to see you later, bye bye. I might just have to see you later. Excellent! <laughs> that was awesome! You're welcome, Tucker. Oh, I love that! <laughs> I love that kind of music. What yeah. is that? Well, how would you describe that? That, I don't know, Americana, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Good old summertime, that one. That's amazing. Yeah. When did you write that? Uh, about two years ago. Yeah. In, in Rage? <laughs> <laughs> that was I mean, actually, there are threats that, of violence that in the song, after, I'm just that saying. That was after uh, 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 meeting uh, Chris, that episode. Kind of sparked that idea. Who are your favorite musicians? Uh, Who do you listen oh, to? he was definitely one of them. Yeah. Uh, currently, I'm going through the Frank Sinatra songbook. Really? Yeah. 
because there was nobody could nobody could sing like Frank. I mean, it just as a musician, you know, the voice is an instrument, and his phrasing and incredible. You know, Jerry Lee Lewis it was like yeah, really he was one of he was one of my piano teachers when I did the Great Balls of Fire. You knew him? Yeah, he was by the whole time we're doing the movie. He's right over my back, going, "You get it wrong, son." So he was really quite. Uh, an amazing human being in all kinds of ways. I was an animal. Yeah. What was John Prine like? John Prine, yeah, he was, he was just a sweetheart of a person. Re you know, really extremely talented. Oh. And it's such a, like a pure musician. Yeah. You know, it wasn't about the fame and fortune for him as much as it was about the music. And as a songwriter, I mean, there's nobody could could, turn a phrase like him. Kind of by himself in that yeah, category. Yeah. But what? But he never really became a household name. Mm, yeah, but a lot of people know him. And it's, you know, and his music will go on. I mean, you take somebody like Chris Christopherson, you know, that, I think that's really kind of the measure. I, I, you know, I think a song like Bobby McGee, yeah. they'll be singing 500 years from now. 100%. You know? But no one will, they, they, everyone thinks Janis Joplin wrote it. Yeah. But it's okay. She, she didn't. Yeah. I particularly like songs that sound like they were written by Anonymous. You know, a lot of those, those uh, uh, American songs that are like written on the frontier. That, yeah, it just that says people, traditional yeah, on it. Yeah, exactly. Did you ever know Willie Nelson? Yeah. Yeah, I've played with Willie Nelson, in fact, uh, on stage a couple of times. What's he like? He's a very generous man. And I mean, gosh, what his contribution to music and he's still doing it man he's still doing it just as great as ever yeah he's like 90 years old yeah in the end looking back on your life are you more excited about making movies or playing music living life yeah that's that's what it is for me now you know it's like i've been really i my autobiography is going to be called my lucky life because i have i've really gotten a chance to do so many kinds of things that I, I never would have thought I uh, could have done. And at this point, you know, my movie career, which has been uh, so fantastic, uh, uh, see, it's so fulfilling, really. I, I enjoy it so much more now, making movies, because I'm not trying to get anywhere. I'm not trying to attain something. I'm just doing the things that really interest me. and. You know, that keeps the joy in in life. Of course. You know. Do you think that, you know, in 30 years, Hollywood will still be a creative force? I don't know. I really don't know. It seems to be spreading out. Yeah. You know, we're trying to get a Hollywood started in Texas, actually. We're trying to bring filmmaking uh, uh, there as, as an industry, not just as a destination right. for Hollywood, you know. And... Uh, I mean, the way it is now, not so many movies are, are, are made in California anymore anyway. Right. And a lot of the ones that I uh, see in the previews, they, they all look like the same movie. Yeah. It, you know, a few really s sneak by there every once in a while. Occasionally. Yeah. So I, I just, I gotta ask, gotta end it with the question I ask everybody, but I'm just interested, like, where do you see the country in a year? In a year? Yeah. Well, I'm really, I'm really tense about next year, yeah. election year. It seems that, you know, more than any other time, it's, it's everybody's got to like pick a side. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's both Democrats and the Republicans. I'm an independent, by the way, and always yeah. have been. I thought I in both ways, you know, uh, according to what the pendulum I thought the country needed, but both sides, seem to think that uh, our country is is going to be doomed it's that uh, democracy is going to be over if uh one or the other wins yes and so how do we get to that place where we can have that transition of power like we did not so long ago right. where at least people could tolerate it without having to you know uh basically have a coup in one way or another, yes. a military coup. We really are, I'm afraid of us becoming like a banana republic like that. And we're the United States of America. We're Americans. Yes. And, and um, 
I do, I do believe, I mean, things are a little bit more, they're scarier than the word 68. I mean, Kennedy, Kennedy, uh, Bobby Kennedy was shot, Martin Luther King was shot, all the riots, uh, you know, the cities were burning. Uh, and, but we knew who those we knew who the leaders were back then. You know, but yes. now it's it's just this kind of underground simmering rage uh, on both sides. And uh, I, you know, f setting aside who's right, who's wrong, or whatever, I, I just think we need to find ways to unite. And America's always found a way to unite. Uh, I mean, things. You, Back when they were making the, uh, the forming the Constitution, uh, you know, you know it, it, there was a guy. There was who was it that came? The other senator, in fact, in uh, in the chambers. It was. It got really bitter. It, it, it was always about to fall apart. You yeah, know, it's fragile. And Reagan is right. You know, uh, our democracy is only. You know, can be lost in a generation. Yes. It only takes a generation to lose it, you know, and uh, I think we need to educate our kids what a great country this is and that we're, in spite of our way we don't agree, that we agree to, that we're Americans. And uh, so, God bless us and, uh, and uh, uh, you know, uh, I just like to see cooler heads prevail. Do you feel that there are cooler heads out there? Yeah, I think as individuals, we're we can be. We have, in general, we have cooler heads. You know, it's I guess it's the mob that that whether it be on the right or the left or somewhere else. Yeah. You know that uh, it it gets confusing. You know, Very. It gets really confusing. Well, I hope I see you in a year. I think it will, Tucker. <laughs> I think so, too. When young here, people say the news is full of lies. Kennedy's motorcade. 239 people. The death of Jeffrey Epstein.